Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms and Castles. Now there might have been like just a couple of minutes between this episode and the last one, but uh, it looks like some sort of dragon was sighted, but I think that might just be the game being weird, because when I click on it, nothing happens. I just reloaded the game, so I'm kind of expecting things to be a little bit weird. Uh, we have a lot of work to do though. We have to extend our walls. We have to fill in this water here. I think we're doing a really great job. And eventually, like I said before, our goal, <laughs> long term, this might take me like a whole year to do this. And I probably will do some of it off screen. But we want to fill in the entire map and make a mega city with a with a, like a 20 high wall all the way around so that nobody can ever enter. Uh, so that's that's kind of the plan. So we're going to see what we can do on that front. So let's have a look at the whole idea of uh, where we are, right? So we have plenty of stone. We How is our food income, actually? That's a question that I need to have answered because I am pressing the wrong... That There's the button. I was trying to remember how to get rid of that. Uh, so we are making a surplus of food and we do have some idle workers. So this means we can definitely fit in perhaps some extra... Uh, shooting towers, we can fit in some extra construction buildings. I think our income is pretty good right now. Uh, but we want to get the wall going here. So let's drop down the castle block. I want to get I want to get my original vision finished, which was this whole area built. So I want to get that finished. That's going to be the thing we work on primarily. Uh, how much is it for a pier? Piers are relatively expensive in stone. So let me see if I can pick up some more stone. There is a little bit more stone over here, but that would require me to uh, to rework these walls here. Hmm. If I were to delete this using a rock removal, I could then build the wall up a little bit like this, and then I might be able to stretch this road out a little bit and fit in another uh, stockpile getter. I'm definitely going to need more stockpilers. I think what I'll do is I'll make another industrial district over on this side. What I'll do is I'll extend the wall out a little bit. So that's what we're going to work on. Um, I'm going to want to pick up some stone from over here. So I'm going to throw down... I'm going to throw down a few piers over here. And they're going to want to go up to here, like so. And then we're going to connect up to this stone eventually. So we'll just wait until these piers are built. And then there's going to be a second industrial area over here. Uh, possibly the same sort of format over here, which is a four by full length of this thing. Oh, you know what else we want to have? We want to have a road here too, so that people can quickly and speedily make their way around the castle. Yeah, so I'm thinking something sort of similar to this, which where it is, uh, you know, a one, two, one, two, three, four by... You know, sort of sort of following a similar pattern to this area, but perhaps a little bit different. Oh, Vikings invading. That is not good. They are coming from an angle where we do have defenses. So let me see if I can quickly get down a stone gate. And see if I can quickly get down some castle blocks on the edges of that gate. Hopefully people will bring stuff there. They're already landing. Now, we do have defenses in this area. Are they bringing an ogre? There is not an ogre, but there are regular old Vikings. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't take too long to finish these. And um, we will also be getting down, I'm thinking, an archer tower and a ballista tower. So whether or not we get these built in time, I don't know. They're probably going to get some damage on me. Probably these quarries are going to die. I do have decent inner city defenses um, where if they go into the city they should be they should take some serious damage but uh, if they don't go directly into the city and I don't know whether these are going to be built quick enough because this stone gate for instance is uh, is not nearly done uh, I should maybe have some more defenses over here this is a little bit of a flub on my part Let's see, we might make it in time. Probably not going to make it in time and we'll have to rely on our archers. But our archers are beginning to fire. So some of these guys are going to start dying now. The gate has been completed. 
which does prevent them from entering. They are going to walk around and probably just get in that way. But hopefully these Ballista Towers and the Archer Towers will uh, get online. Now these should have been three high. I just kind of had to panic build them. I'll delete them and then rework them later. Uh, how long until this Archer Tower? It's almost ready. So it just needs a little bit more wood and then it will be ready to fire. And now it's doing damage, slowing down the invaders. So they're burning some of this stuff over here. That's unfortunate. Uh, complete removal. So I did manage to do something useful there. But we are, we are now sort of slowing down this push, thankfully, and there's, oh my god, there's even more Vikings, wow. So they are inside my town, and they're probably going to start doing some damage. But we do have some defenses to hold them off and slow them down. Looks like a lot of them are getting killed off here by this archery tower. The second archery tower has started firing, softening them up. Looks like these guys are already retreating. Looks like they're trying to kill off some of my people. Have they kidnapped someone? Yes, they have kidnapped someone. They are carrying them off. Um, they can't get in this gate, thankfully. Oh, he managed to snatch that person. I saw that. I saw that happen. He snatched him. But I think uh, I think we we're I think we've managed to more or less survive this attack. Oh. Uh, just needs a little bit, a little bit more of these guys to die. All right, so we need to get this gate up next. That's going to be a big thing for us. So how many Vikings got away? Looks like these guys managed to kidnap three people. Oh my goodness, they kidnapped three people. Uh, hopefully they were old people. Sorry, old people, but uh, you're not as useful to my town. Although you old people do level up in their skills. These guys haven't kidnapped anyone yet. Looks like they're trying to, but we're taking them out, I think. I could have recruited a hero, maybe. Um, well, let's see. All right, this guy should die fairly soon. He's still getting hit. There we go. I think that more or less covers all of the bad guys. Uh, it's just a matter of these guys leaving, right? Yeah, it looks like two of, two of them actually managed to get out, but we killed the rest. So we are getting pretty close to our goal. So let me go ahead and demolish this archery tower. And this uh, Ballista Tower. And let me go ahead and make some upgrades. Yeah, the, it's, it's, We didn't do amazingly, but we survived. Yeah, I could fit... If I do this... I could fit an extra... Um, I could fit an extra, just an extra little bit of, for example, stockpiling over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll demolish these particular pieces of wall. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's not necessary. I'll just demolish this road here. And then I will stick down the castle block. And then I'll have one little piece of road that goes up like this. And then I will stick down my two... Uh, I'll stick down one stockpile here, at least. I'll do that at least, and that'll that'll act like another place to pull resources into. Looks like we've hit winter now, so I'm going to speed up time a little bit. I want to get my defenses more robust, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build these up a little bit. I'm gonna get uh, I think I think I wanted a castle gate over here, like that, and then I wanted these to go up an extra two. Now I will be putting down an archer tower. And a Ballista. Oh, that's two Archer Towers. An Archer Tower and a Ballista. I think that's a reasonably good combo defense. Oh, what's going on here? No quarries. Good day, sire. Good day, sire. Okay, so I think this is a good little setup right here. Our food is still awesome. Great. Nice one. Food is still pretty good. A um, little bit of food wasted due to the uh, just the nature of being large. Uh, but I think our bakeries... What they what, well, what exactly do they do? They One loaves of bread. So I think that means people are getting bread. Oh, you know what? There's no well over here. Oh, that's not so good. Uh, let me go ahead and grab the well. And this would be the position that would cover most of the city. So I'll build a well here. Uh, looks like they're also almost done building these piers. Now, these piers are a little bit of distance away. So they take their time to get built. I'm actually quite surprised they haven't been built, but it's probably because the NPCs are swimming to them or something. Um, but yeah, they're running over now. I could possibly use more... Uh, fetchers, which is why I'm building this stockpile. Hopefully they will fetch more things uh, more rapidly. So 
So there will be 10 new people to fetch things. I'm also you, I'm also going to kind of preemptively build a couple of stockpiles over here. Let me just see where exactly I want to build them. I'm thinking if I go into industry here, if I throw down a stockpile here, that'll be useful for grabbing stuff from all over the place. In particular, when we build up over here, which is what we're going to be doing now. Someone died of old age. Yeah, and I think our happiness took a bit of a hit there because of the raid. Uh, looks like it's looks like it's ticking back up. All right, so let's build some more road, like so. Then we're going to come out like this on the wall. Well, let's uh, let's chop here. And then we're going to want to stick down. We do need more quarries. So let me think, where's the wall going to go? So the wall's going to come out an extra two, and the wall is going to go like that. Okay. So I should, I should lay that out, I guess. Uh, let me go ahead and... Ugh, it's in the way of the wall, isn't it? Well, I could get around that problem. No, there's no real way to get around it without destroying these. So do I have tools stockpiled up? I'm going to turn off quarrying. Because I want to stockpile up some tools. Uh, I do have enough iron actually stockpiled up to potentially get another blacksmith. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a blacksmith over here. Uh, looks like these guys are hopefully spreading out and just bringing a few little bits of resources over here. Although it looks like it's still being built. So it's going to take some time to build these things. Yeah, I'm gonna want wood over here, so let me... We'll, we'll rework the wall when, when the time comes. Uh, you, know, you know what? No, we won't. I'll tell you what. I don't, I don't like that idea. I think what we have the resources and the capacity to do it now, so I'm gonna just delete these things. Um, so I'm also gonna stick down some more piers where it's appropriate. Let me have a look at this wall. How's this wall doing? The wall is looking good. Uh, you know what I might do? Let me extend this wall over here. Just so I can get the uh, the edges laid out. So we'll go like that. So that's going to come out four. The wall is going to go here and then like that. So the wall. Okay, you actually can't place on top of things that don't exist yet. That's perfectly reasonable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the road. We could use a little bit more wood. So I might even turn on the wood gathering. But I'm going to wait mostly here. Our wood output. I think it's. Been, I think a lot of it's being used up by these charcoal makers. Oh my goodness! I turned off a few charcoal makers, and now it's being used up quite rapidly. So I'm going to turn on some more of these. Oh, it looks like we're not fully staffed, uh, which tells me. Hmm. Did we lose a house somewhere? I don't think we did. Everything looks just fine. I guess we just have so many building projects on right now that we need to kind of wait for people to free up. So I'll just speed up time while I uh, while I get these things done. Food stockpile is looking okay again. That said, it does look like we're starting to use up more food than we used to. And are we getting all the food into the granaries? Oh, it kind of looks like it. we might not be. Oh, maybe maybe we are. We're getting most of it into the granaries at least. Uh, this might call for more farms. Um, we'll have to kind of play it by ear. Could I stick down another windmill here? I could. And then if I put a chunk of road here, it would extend our range out a little, just that little bit, which would allow me to get some extra farms in here. Like that. And then we can have an open space here, maybe. Unfortunately. So we'll get some more of these farms online. Some extra food. I'm not going to complain about that. I might even throw down another granary over here. Um, no, probably this is... I'm going to stick a quarry down here at some point, I guess. Because we want to use up all these resources. Only two found a satisfactory home. That's fine. 
How are things coming over here? Uh, this is almost ready to be demolished. Okay, so people are swimming to deliver. Uh, Alexander have died of old age. Well, we're not really in the we're not really in a population expansive expansion mode. We're kind of in a construction and fortifying mode. So I'm just gonna let some things to get built. So it looks like these guys are now starting to pick up some resources, although they don't seem to be as busy as my other people who seem to be pretty crazily busy. I think it looks for like the closest person. So these guys are only really grabbing excess, which tells me I'm going to need some uh, some people over here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick down. I'm going to stick down two quarries over here. And I'll just figure out how the walls are going to work later. Not even going to worry about it. I'll stick down two quarries over here. And I will stick down two foresters. Uh, the wall would preferably like to go like this way. So I'm thinking if we chop here. Chop a couple of these, then we stick down a, a... What is in and outside of the city? This is still inside the city. Okay, so this is... This is officially on the edge of the city, on the wall. So that's as close as we can, that's the closest we can make it. Once these get built, there will be a resource flow. Oh my goodness. Is there not a well here? Uh, so I want to, I want to get some more houses here. <gasps> I lost the bakery. No, but I have a well. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we just lost a bakery. That's unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. We can just stick a new one right down. And it's nice the way they blend all together. Oh my god, we lost another bakery? Huh. Maybe I should get a, uh... Maybe I should get a baker ripe, or, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe I should get a well right beside these? Eh, they'll be fine. So this place is literally just... Should be just grabbing charcoal to, for the bakers. Um... I wonder, can I actually see... If I click on you... Where are your workers? Your workers are just standing still. That's unfortunate. Um, probably going to set up a, uh, a thing over here and then delete this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demolish this now because it doesn't seem to be working for me. Uh, and then I'm going to make a pier over here because I want to put down some more houses. More wood is required. Buyers claim to baker. It's unfortunate. Um, so how's our defenses? I think our defenses are starting to look pretty good. We're very, very vulnerable on this side of things. Um, but luckily, you know, we can, we, can, we can shore that up pretty quick. I think I'm a little bit stuck for wood right now. So I'm going to give tools to foresters. Uh, charcoal. We're still at negative charcoal, so I think I need two more charcoalers. Let me go ahead and stick in here two charcoal makers. I can only afford one right now. Yeah, I'm really surprised by how little wood we're getting. I thought we would be... I thought we would be swimming in wood, to be honest. But we're really not. We're really using up wood really quickly. Uh, is it the... Is it these guys that's using it up? I'm really not sure what's causing our wood... Our wood flow to be so poor. Speed up time here while we wait some, for some stuff to finish. I, I guess I'm just spending it pretty much as soon as it comes in. But uh, I think now that we, we're distributing tools to some of these things, we should see our output increase. I'm going to also... What was I doing? I was doing... So, oh yeah, I was building houses over here, right. So let me stick down some more piers. Alright, so that's all the piers I want. Oh, we have a dragon. Looks like a big nasty dragon. Now hopefully we have defenses in range. Hopefully he doesn't do too much over in this direction. We'll see. Uh, we have been able to kill most of the dragons that came. Thanks to a lot of defenses around here. And I'm hoping this won't be different. Okay, so the ballista is starting to hit him already. And the archery tower is also beginning to hit him. Or her. It could be a she-dragon. You never know. Alright, so it looks like they're starting to drop. There we go. Dragon is dead. Pretty quick. Pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty fantastic, actually, that we killed that so quickly. How are you doing over here? Are you making tools? Uh, you're a little bit light on the other stuff. Well, your people should be running out and picking up stuff for you. How's the stockpile doing here? 
a couple of idlers, but mostly it's grabbing resources. Alrighty. Needs a full staff to replant. So this is not fully staffed because I think we're still doing a lot of building projects. Um, I am going to throw down two large manors here. I'm going to speed up time while we wait for these piers to be built. Doing some terraforming. How is our food situation? Yeah, it looks like our food situation is pretty decent still. Uh, I could possibly do a little bit of windmilling stuff over here, maybe. I'm, I'm also tempted to just throw down raw farms. Just throw down a bunch of farms over here. Just to get that little bit of extra food. Um, this was really good farmland over here. I'm a bit sad to cover it up. But uh, there's also a really, really good farmland over here. Which is probably where some of the farmland's eventually going to go. Yeah, but I think the city, uh, you know, it's starting to look really, really awesome, you know? It's starting to look great. Uh, if only this would go away. Got him. Yeah, if you look here, you can really just see the... the uh, the mightiness of the town. There you go, that's like a... There you go, there's, that's the postcard shot. If only if only there was like a hotkey to get rid of the UI, we could take some really nice screenshots. Um, I'm gonna have to like email the developers and be like, Hey! Implement a no UI button, please. I, 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 I really love the game's aesthetics. I think I've talked about this before, but I'm, I'm, I'm a huge sort of fan of voxel. I think I, I'm a big fan of pixel graphics and I'm a big fan of uh, simple voxel graphics and simple polygon graphics. I don't know why I like I like the thick, um, the sort of strong and robust colors and with the shading and the um, the lighting effects. I think I think it just it, it, you don't need I don't I don't really think textures are necessary to make a, a, a nice looking game. I don't think it's necessary. I think it, it can help and used correctly. It can be amazing, but I don't think it's necessary. And that's the important part. I'm going to throw down a couple of piers over here to because uh, I want to build my road out this way. Just just a couple of tiles here. I think the road is going to go up along here. And then the wall is going to go up along there. And then it's going to cut across like this. So eventually we're going to want to retool some of this, but it's it's fine the way it is um, for now. But yeah, we want to we want to start getting that wall extended to properly defend ourselves. We're pretty well defended over here. Not so well defended up over here. I'm actually tempted. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on a big tower in here. Because these are these houses need some defense. So I'm thinking... Bam, bam. Looks like these guys are having trouble getting food, which is odd. So are these about the same height? Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to demolish this so I can try to remember. Castle block, castle block. I'm gonna count them. But let me see here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wait on that because I need to. I need to build houses first. We'll get started on a manor over here. What are you guys lacking? Let's see, what's your average happiness? 81, 90. I think it's because you guys have a library over them. You guys don't have a library. Yeah. So let me go ahead. Let me build a library. Places here. Okay, it has good it has good reach. Where did I put this one? I put that one over there, right? Take down a library there, and then I can probably get away with putting a library here or here somewhere, and that might capture most of these houses in here. Alrighty, uh, how are we doing? On several fronts. Well, I think right now housing is the big thing. Oh, it looks like we have a plague. Our hospital is activated though, right? People are getting cured. 30... Oh, 128 peasants have taken ill. That, this could be devastating if uh, the cure isn't properly distributed. Patrick McKenna just died of old age. I thought I had originally read that as Paul McKenna. 18 peasants have died of plague. Um, I think actually a second hospital could do, go a long way to preventing that. Um, particularly because the sadness is pretty rough when people die from plague. Yeah, these guys should be doing a good job of grabbing resources from around the town. Even if they're only grabbing a little bit, 
the fact that it's here, it will just speed up any production or construction I'm doing over here. And I'm going to want to get set up a second pipeline of resource grabbing and so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, we need to clear out all these rocks, but these are all long term goals. Right now, I'm trying to just get the uh, get more people built up. So I really need this pier to be uh, we need this pier to be finished. Like everyone is just standing there waiting for it to be finished. One last dude runs up and pops in the final bit of work. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a manor. We don't quite have enough workers for all these things. But uh, hopefully, hopefully soon. Once these manors finish up, I'm hoping more people will move in. Have some good bakeries here. No charcoal. Oh, no charcoal at all? Hmm. So let me go ahead. I'm going to stick down another charcoal maker. Go ahead and let me chop this forest and I'll stick down another charcoal maker. Although that one's getting kind of close to these houses. Are you being upset by being near a charcoal maker? It doesn't look like it. So I think I, I think I'm safe to stick two down here and then I can put maybe like a granary or something here. We'll, we'll see what we put here. One of our peasants tragically died under mysterious circumstances. Took too long to store our harvest. Some of it was ruined. Improving paths to a granary would help. Well, I can't really see. I, I feel like these are really good paths. Um, I feel like everything's pretty close together. So these granaries are being emptied. I could throw down another couple of farms here. Um, oh. Did I... Do I not have a well? Oh, that's one thing I need to do over here. Right, I need wells. Uh, let me see. If I put one here... That'll cover most of those guys. Then if I put a well over here, perhaps. Like there. Now this is all well covered in wells. <laughs> it's well covered, guys. Ha! 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 It's well covered. Oh my god. Just fucking shoot me now. For making that joke. Um. <laughs> Alright, so we're building manors here. That's pretty good. Uh, needs a little bit of work. I'm hoping when these people move in, I'll be able to do more stuff. I'm also, you know what I'm going to do? I want to go want to build piers here. I'm going to wait till these houses are built. Only 23 found satisfactory homes. Uh, so the extra, oh yeah, that that's also helping. The fact that we had lost some people kind of made our, our supply lines thin. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think we've made a, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of progress in this episode. We, uh, we hooked up these new resources over here. We built some stuff. Uh, we've got some more charcoal makers. We killed a dragon. We did get raided by Vikings and did not defeat them all, but I feel like we can do it. I feel like we can do it the next couple of episodes, so we'll see if we can. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to give a like if you want to directly support my channel. Oh my god, excuse me. I hiccuped. Uh, <laughs> and remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.